Romans chapter 4 from verse 25. And never forget this. He's talking about Jesus. Jesus, who was delivered for our offenses. That means he was delivered on account of our offenses and was raised again for our justification. This is the most powerful thing about Christianity. Let me explain it to you. As simple as it is, it is so powerful. He says Jesus Christ was raised for our justification. What does that mean? We are not, oh my, Israel was redeemed. Israel was redeemed. When Jesus died, he paid for their sins. He paid for the broken covenant. But we are recreated. Israel was redeemed. Are you hearing this? Yes. Everyone in Christ had to be recreated. You were not redeemed. You were recreated. That means, hear this. You're not the sinner saved by grace. Christianity doesn't begin at the cross. Christianity doesn't begin at the grave. Christianity starts at the resurrection. And when you become a Christian, you receive a new life, the resurrection life. You're a new person. As though you had never sinned. You are not a forgiven person. You are a recreated person with a new life. That's what the Bible says. He was born again that day that he was resurrected. And that's the life. The Bible says when he died, we all died. That was the end. But then he went to hell for every one of us and won and settled everything and came back alive with a new life this is what we're preaching to every man that if you will believe this if you will believe the life that jesus has given you you will discover that the eternal life that is in your spirit has supplanted the life with which you were born of your mother and your father this is christianity Christianity is not a religion. There's so many people who think it's one of the world's best religions. It is not a religion. It is eternal life in the human vessel. That's what Christianity is. It is a divine life at work in a human person. That is what Christianity is. Being born again. Not of corruptible seed, but of incorruptible. By the word of God, we live it and abide it forever. And once you're born again, God wants you to live by his word. He wants you to live every day by his word. Think his word. Talk his word. Walk his word. Can you shout amen somebody? Thank you for watching to the end. Click on any of these sermons on the screen to listen to other amazing sermons from Pastor Chris. Thank you for watching our entire video today. If you feel you can bless someone, please join us and spread the gospel by sharing this video on your social media.